Right, so uh, this is going to be a recurring theme, but uh, one thing that we do a lot at the Chicago Tribune is say no to databases and yes to Google Spreadsheets, because databases suck. <laughs> They're hard to get running on your computer. Um, you can't have multiple people editing something at the same time. Um, when we're working with people in the newsroom, we don't really want to put the Django admin even in front of them. We want something that they can just log into, know how to use, and can crank with. Um, and so that's exactly what we do. So we, we download the Illinois State Board of Elections data. We see that. We see that spreadsheet. Unfortunately, the ISPOE data is not that good. All the email addresses are wrong. The phone numbers are often wrong. Um, physical addresses are often wrong. People don't check when they're filing. And nobody's checking to make sure that, that what they filed is actually correct, other than just what the you know, just the basics of the name, you know, making sure that they're allowed to be on the ballot. But a lot of what what is filed is just never vetted. Um so a young woman on the ad board, Jessica Reynolds, who is my hero from this project, um, spent all day, every day talking to about five hundred different candidates. Um, getting the correct email addresses, getting the correct phone numbers, getting the correct campaign contacts, and building a useful database that we maintain in, uh, in Google Spreadsheets. Now, they use that also for reporting purposes, um, but, what we ultimately, but what we ultimately do is consume that data and then, and then put it on the web. I see um, some questions. People can jump in with questions as we go. Um, do you attempt to match, like, a, if a candidate is running the task for the office, do you attempt to match that? We'd like to, but <laughs> there's a, we'd like to. We'd actually like to do that, but the problem there is that is statements. Yeah. Right. right. Well, that's that's the problem. Right. <laughs> yeah. Those the spreadsheets that you maintain are they um, are they sort of like read only, publicly available? Uh, they're not. So is there is there anything confidential on them? I mean, it looks like that. It's itself maintaining that is a really. There's good there's an editing notes in that. Ah uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so uh, there's a JSON feed that is all the raw data, but without that. So, um, you know, that kind of the question. Okay, thank you. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, so, uh, oh, right, so here we go. This is exciting. Uh, uh, this is sort of a new one. We'll have a couple little tangents and details as we're going through the site. Um, this was a new one. So I was at a conference in Baltimore trying not to think about the election site. We launched endorsements. We thought everything was rolling. And I got a call at like 6 in the morning. We had a candidate plagiarize her survey. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, so I had to go in and do column plagiarized, Boolean field, you know? Like, <laughs> I had a little exception to the template if plagiarized, like, print out this message. This candidate survey response has been removed because the QA to be an identified set of messages copied from other sources with that attribution. Who does that? Well, Sherry Brannigan does it. Who's on the page? Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, she didn't get the endorsement. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. So, uh, so we're moving on. So uh, 